Why does it seem like every manufacturer is pushing these four-cylinder turbo engines? It doesn't make much sense to me. These turbo engines are not going to be as reliable. They don't get much better fuel economy than the V6 or than their naturally aspirated counterpart. Why do they switch? Are they being forced to do it by the EPA? What's going on? Let's get into it. So in my mind, a four-cylinder turbo, they have big issues because plain and simple, a turbo engine is going to burn oil. That's the simple story. There's no way around it. You can talk to most any mechanic. It's going to happen. A turbo engine is going to burn oil. And the question is, why? Because of excess heat and all sorts of stuff that goes on there, you, you got to think you literally have something spinning super fast. It's a lot of friction. You got all this heat. You got a lot going on. And you have a lot of manufacturers that say a little bit of oil consumption is okay. You know, like Honda did a few years back. So it's just really crazy because in my mind, you have another part to go wrong. That's just a fact. It's another part to go wrong. And you guys have to make sure if you have these turbo engines, you need to keep up on your oil changes. And some manufacturers like Toyota are saying 10,000 mile oil changes. Are you crazy? If you buy a new Toyota and you wait 10,000 miles in city driving and it's a turbo on top of that, that is just stupid. And people are doing that with brand new vehicles. So it's going to be interesting uh, as the years go on, as they get a little bit older, because I don't want to buy those used vehicles. So <laughs> kind of crazy, but Toyota literally recommends a 10,000 mile oil interval. If you meet all the requirements, my local dealership is just saying, yeah, 10,000 miles. I'm like, no, no, come on guys like 5,000 but if you have a turbo charge in and you need to get that oil changed every 5,000 or even before to be honest because it's going to break down the oil more because of that excess heat it's just that additional part on the engine to just wear it down and to increase heat but you get the benefit of more power you get the benefit of better fuel economy if it's used the right way but the problem with the fuel economy part is most people don't even get better fuel economy because as soon as you start hitting that pedal, if you're a heavy driver at all with that foot, you're going to get worse fuel economy than a regular V6. Let's put it in the Toyota Tacoma. The old V6, if you were smooth with that compared to the new four cylinder, it's not much of it. You're talking about a few miles extra gallon, you know, nothing big. It's not worth going to a four cylinder, but that even being said, as soon as you start really driving that four cylinder Tacoma, it's going to start burning gas because as soon as that turbo starts pulling up. Now I've had a few comments saying that they actually got better fuel economy and that's awesome. That is actually really cool. But I've also had just as many say the new one and they're only getting 15, 16 with the new Tacoma. So I would still lean more on going fully non-turbo because if you want a vehicle that's going to last forever you kind of have to keep turbo out of it but most of us don't keep our vehicles forever but if you are that kind of person that keeps it forever probably wouldn't recommend turbo because eventually that turbo is going to have problems eventually hopefully it's down the road a quarter of a million miles but still it's kind of like a timing belt like eventually it will probably cause issues. I mean, if you don't change it, it's another part that you have to change. So, and you know, even a time and chain eventually would need change. So sometimes, but yeah, it's, it's just, uh, it's kind of crazy to see manufacturers do this. And that's the other thing. Yeah. You get a little bit more power maybe, but you're getting this smaller displacement engine and they're not putting these on for power. They're putting them on so they can shove a small displacement engine in a big vehicle or even a small vehicle and just make them tiny, you know, 1.3, 2.4. And you're talking about in big vehicles and shove this little turbo on there and wind it up. And it's just, it, do the math guys. You got a small engine, with a turbo, increased heat, increased everything, and they burn oil. Every turbo has oil consumption, plain and simple. It's just not the path for a super reliable engine that's going to last forever. And what doesn't make sense to me is why are they even doing it? Because the fuel economy is a couple extra miles better. It doesn't make sense. They already had it like the old Tacoma. That V6, I mean, they could have maybe done a, a little bit better on it and maybe got a little bit better fuel economy if they would have dedicated the resources they spent on upgrading the, the 2.4 liter that they had before and getting it ready for the Tacoma if they would have spent those resources on the v6 maybe they could have made it even a little bit better but it was the best it's gonna be math is math like there's no way around it whenever you have a big SUV heavy you're not gonna get good fuel economy that's just a simple math that's how it is like I, I really want a forerunner but they're terrible on fuel economy but it's just the math is the math it's how it is 
If you want to get good fuel economy, you know, go for more of a sedan, get a hybrid. Also for me, I kind of, I drove a hybrid and I don't know if I like the feel of a hybrid. I don't know if you guys ever driven a hybrid. They kind of are, I don't know. They just have a, uh, you know, every time you let off the, it's kind of like an electric car. They're cool, I guess, but I just don't know about daily driving them every day because every time you let off the gas, it's almost like you feel that little break and it kind of, I don't know if it makes me nauseous or what. I'm just kind of like, I don't know. I don't know if I like hybrids that much. So let me know if anybody else has that. Actually, I'm kind of interested, but basically the moral of this video is just at the end of the day, a turbo engine will not last as long as a fully natu naturally aspirated engine. That's just a simple statement. That's a fact. But if they are reliable, then I will bite my words. I will be wrong. That's what I'm trying to get at too is Chevy with the 2.7 liter turbo. Surprisingly, it's been okay. As soon as it came out, there was a lot of hate coming out with it. I was not a fan. I can't believe they were putting it in a full-size pickup truck. But actually, surprisingly, it's actually done okay. Now, would I want one? Not necessarily. But they do make them pretty affordable. And they do have power. But it's still a four-cylinder turbo. So don't expect to keep that truck forever. So, yeah. It is what it is. In my mind, I just don't think it's even better for the environment at the end of the day. Going to these turbos. Especially in these bigger vehicles because it seems to not even make much of a difference because you have the simple math you got such a heavy vehicle you just can't get much better than we're already at so unless you go hybrid so yeah everybody thank you for watching leave a comment i'd love to hear your opinion have a great day stay blessed